Welcome and thanks for viewing this video of my first serious attempt at painting a miniature figure. This one will be part of my post-apocalyptic diorama I'm currently building. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much. So let's see how I did this. First the support has to be removed from the figure. I sand down the edge to make it more smooth so that the paint can stick to it more easily. I attach the arm with cement glue. This is probably the wrong adhesive for figures. Well, what can I say? As you can see, I don't really know anything about figure building. I'm just telling you what I'm doing right now, but if you're expecting the super figure builder, well, you're in the wrong place. Anyway, I later used super glue to glue them together and that works much better. Next I covered most parts of the figure with this nice looking red leather color, which is going to look much less shiny after it has dried. I always wanted to try these Citadel colors, because usually as a military model builder I don't use this specific brand, they are mainly used by Warhammer figure painters. Man, they are doing a really great job in that scale. My work here is far from their quality, but for my diorama it's hopefully enough what I'm doing here. I mean, it isn't a competition or something. But when I build models, I always have a picture in mind and it's disappointing when you can't translate that into the real world. The helmet took a lot out of me. I painted it a total of three times until I was satisfied with the color. Here is the first version, in a blue-gray tone. Here it already has its final color. The breastplate gets painted in dark blue. I will add some chipping to it later on. Now it's time to paint some of the small details. The bottom plate is painted with steel colors. Maybe that isn't the correct color for this piece in reality, but I think it looks quite good. If I have a favorite model type, it would probably be airplanes. Well, and what do aircraft model builders do at this stage? They start the weathering process. But you see, hmm, it's actually not a good idea to weather figures this way. Well, I try to remove the wash. 
but it leaves some random marks at the wrong places, so I decided to paint the main coat again off camera. Okay, I watched some other YouTube videos and tutorials about figure painting, and the next step is to paint all the little details with a more lighter and darker color as the base color to create shadows and highlights. At best, someone does this in, well, let's say faded way. I try my best to do so, but obviously that's just my first humble attempt. Lucky I've some other figures for that diorama that I'm going to paint in the near future and hopefully become better at painting these little things. I added some chipping effect to the breastplate. Looks like I was wrong when I said figure painters don't wash their work. It looks like it's all about where to use the wash and especially which one to use. This Nuln oil seems to be doing a pretty good job at washing silver or steel colors. After the wash I add some blood effects. Last but not least I add some dust effect on his shoes and pants. And here it is, the final result. Not perfect of course, but I think it's okay-ish. What do you think? Please leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.